Before the tutorial starts, here is the ultimate editing pack everyone been asking me. Momo Studios. Welcome to this After Effects tutorial, where I explain how to create these famous cleanest transitions video I and other people be doing on Shorts, TikTok, and Instagram, so you can upload your own content and not re-uploading my videos. Before we start, we must follow these four steps to get that clean cleanest transition and not a choppy one, because no one watches bad quality. Recording the clips in lobby. Before we start, you need a recording app. For this, I'm using GeForce, but you can use OBS as well. Step one, we open Fortnite and choose an emote that goes well with a transition. Now pick the second style of your skin and repeat the same emote. If you wanna have a clean screen without the HUD, go into settings, then game and scroll down to the button that says start. Let's begin with the fun part. This is where the magic happens inside After Effects. Let me introduce you. This is where you import your clips and music. And that right here is our timeline, where we will be cutting clips and add effects to that. On the right, we have all the effects. And lastly, the heart of all of that, the window preview, which will show us what we did so far. Click on New Composition and copy my settings. If you wanna do a TikTok or shorts, you need a nine to 16 aspect ratio. As long as the aspect ratio is 9 by 16, you're good to go. And make sure to toggle the frame rate to 60 for the extra smoothness. Now that you're an expert in After Effects, let's cook something up. Double click this empty area to import clips and music. To see what each of these files contain, simply double-click them so you know what it is. First, find your song and see where the big beat is. Click this icon to trim it. Now drag and drop your song into the timeline. As you can see here, we have too much empty space that we don't need, so simply go to the end of the song and press N on your keyboard. Right-click that area and press Trim Comp to Work Area. Now find your big beat and set a marker by clicking asterisk on your keyboard. For a better view, click on the song and press L twice so you see the highs and lows if that helps you. Now we repeat the process for the two clips of your skin. Trim the clip around the point where the transition should happen. And stretch the clip by holding the beginning and drag it to the left. Set a cut when the skin is supposed to change by clicking Control, Shift, and D at the same time. And delete the unnecessary part. Repeat the process for the second style of your skin and put both clips together where the skins both meet at the same movement. And that's it, if you want to keep it shit. Every good video needs that cherry on top, and what is After Effects without the effects? First step is to create an adjustment layer by right-clicking an empty area in the timeline, then on New and select Adjustment Layer. Let me explain. Imagine you put too many effect on your clip and mess up your whole clip. That's where the adjustment layer comes into play. Instead of putting all of your effects on your clip directly, you put it on the adjustment layer. All the clips underneath the adjustment layer get affected and you have more control over your timeline. The first effect is called exposure to have that glow effect to make the cut between both skins seamless. Simply drag and drop it on the adjustment layer. Now on the left, a window popped up, which lets you control the effect like how much glow you want. Click on the time watch to create a keyframe. In the timeline, click on the adjustment layer and hit U to see all keyframes. 
and move forward until you are between both clips and set the number of the keyframe to 2.8. Now move forward again and put the keyframe to zero to end the glow effect. It should look something like this depending on how far apart your three keyframes are. The last and most important part of your video is always the color correction, or how the editors call it, CC. The CC decides whether the viewer keeps watching your video or swipes right away, so you want to go for a clean and sharp look. Because let's be honest, who wants to look at this? Go to the search bar and type in curves, and drag and drop the effect on your adjustment layer. Now copy what I do. You want to create an S-curve to make the darks darker and the whites whiter. It already looks better than before, but something is still missing. And that's where we add an effect called hue saturation. What the effect does is making the colors pop out more, but be careful. Otherwise, your CC looks like this. You usually want to make it between 10 and 20 like I did. The difference is amazing, and all that in just 30 seconds. It's time to end this tutorial and let you do the rest. I know that I haven't covered up everything, but maybe that is something for a new tutorial. So comment down below what specific effect you want to learn from me and I make it happen. Thank you all for watching and use code MOMOS in the item shop.